Hi everyone, welcome to Boost. I hope you've had a marvellous weekend. We've had a lot of rain, haven't we? And it's good for the farmers, but spring is coming. Hope you also had a good time in church yesterday. We had a wonderful time at Real Life Church. But today I'm going to read from James chapter 5, verse 9 to verse 12. It's just a short reading today. And we're in the final chapter of James. So here we go. James chapter 5, verses 9 to 12. He says, don't grumble about each other, brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. For look, the judge is standing at the door. For examples of patience in suffering, dear brothers and sisters, look at the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. We give great honour to those who endure under suffering. For instance, you know about Job, a man of great endurance. You can see how the Lord was kind to him at the end. For the Lord is full of tenderness and mercy. But most of all, my brothers and sisters, never take an oath by heaven or earth or anything else. Just say a simple yes or no so that you will not sin and be condemned. That's it. One more passage to be read from the book of James and um, Pastor Bethman is going to do that tomorrow. But I hope you've enjoyed uh, the book of James as we've gone through it. And that final passage, again, is just packed with lots of goodies in there. But one of the things I just want to highlight is spoke about suffering. You know, as we go through life, we go through trials, we go through problems. We know that in this world, everybody has problems. It's only when we go to heaven to be with Jesus that we'll be free from the sufferings of life. So if you're going through a hard time, it means actually that you're quite normal. But you know, for us as Christians, when we go through a hard time, the Lord is with us. He brings us through. And this passage just referred to Job. He went through a very difficult time. He suffered terrible loss, but the Lord was with him through his struggles and the Lord brought him through and the Lord blessed his final end than at the start. In fact, the Bible says he was better at the end than what he was at the beginning. And God has a way of doing that, doesn't he? With the struggles of life. He brings blessing um, at the end. He takes you through and he blesses you at the end. And the Lord is faithful. So I just want to encourage you today. Maybe you are in the middle of a difficult time well, God is with you. You know, the scriptures say in the book of Isaiah, when you go through the waters, I will be with you, says the Lord. The Lord said he will never leave you nor forsake you. He will bring you through and he will bless you. But keep your eyes upon Jesus. Well, you're going to have a great week this week. You're going to have a great Monday. And I just want to pray blessing upon you. But I particularly want to pray for anybody who's going through a difficult time right now. And Father, we just come before you. We thank you for the Bible. Thank you, Lord, it's packed with encouragement. And Father, we just thank you today. We've been reminded about how Job went through his time of difficulty. But Lord, you brought him through and you blessed him. And Lord, I just pray for anybody today who's listened to this broadcast, who's going through a difficult time. Lord, maybe at home, maybe with work, maybe in their health, whatever it may be. Life is full of struggles and difficult times. But I pray for those who are listening Lord, who need encouragement, that you'll encourage them in Jesus' name. Lord, right in the middle of their difficulty, I pray you'll reassure them that you're there, bringing them through, taking care of them, Lord. So I just pray today that you'll lift people up. I pray this Monday will be a wonderful Monday for all the listeners today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, God bless you, everybody. Have a marvelous Monday. Bye.